I will talk about uh, curcumin from turmeric, a wonder drug in waiting. I should confess, I'm not a spices expert. I'm a biochemist, uh, molecular biologist, and uh, my interest has been malaria parasite for the last uh, three decades. I stumbled on uh, curcumin as one of my projects, and that is what I will share with you, the results we obtained in malaria. Next slide, please. <clears throat> you know, malaria is still a major issue of the globe. 250 million people are infected. Mortality is around 400,000. And, you know, uh, of course, Bednet and Art as Artemis have brought down. But even after bringing down the mortality is about uh, 400,000, India, you know, numbers are uh, differing from WHO estimate and government estimate, so we will not get into that. But one issue is in the elimination of malaria, WHO says there are 11 countries that need to be worried, of which 10 are African countries, and the one country outside of Africa is India. So the globe is worried about India in the process of elimination of malaria, so that's a very important issue. Next, uh, next one, please. Now, we have several projects on malaria parasite. I will not try to discuss them. I will only try to discuss curcumin for combination therapy. That is the only one we have. Otherwise, we have four or five projects, which are very different. Next one, please. Now, I don't need to introduce uh, turmeric to this audience. Uh, in fact, I have to learn from the audience. So, you know, it is a, it is a spice that is known in Ayurveda, Siddha, Yunani, traditional Chinese medicine. I was surprised years ago when I found the first use of turmeric was as a dye. Next slide, please. Next slide. This is the various names for turmeric. Uh, turmeric in Ayurveda, you know, so many applications are possible for turmeric. It's all described in Ayurvedic text. Next one, please. Charaka Samhita describes uh, turmeric. Uh, what are all the various uh, applications possible, you know, from smallpox to shingles to ulcers to conjunctivitis to skin blemishes. You name the disease, and turmeric has been used one way or the other. Next one, please. Can we go to the next slide? Is there any problem? The slide is uh, not moving. Anish? No. There's some problem.
okay thank you you know if you look at curcumin uh, i think there is a previous slide which says curcumin was uh, probably isolated uh, in 1815 and, and there are scores of cur from cur from turmeric and usually it ranges between 3 to 5% you will know there are turmeric varieties which have much higher curcumin content and so on curcumin was isolated in 1815 i know so many properties uh, next there is not a single disease for which curcumin has not been used for example you can clearly see uh, the diseases from cancers to inflammatory diseases to variety of skin diseases other diseases uh, curcumin has been used has been tested clinically evaluated next one please and we wrote a small uh, review in trends in pharmacological sciences in 2016 i know it received a lot of attention we said you no know, curcumin you look at the out the inside the diseases cancers hepatic biliary inflammatory neurodegenerative carcinogenic all diseases and you look at the targets every target cytokine transcription factor adhesion factor cell cycle factors like that you name the factor it inhibits each group will look at something in a cell line and add curcumin and show that is inhibited next one please so the question is asked you know so many i am not current uh, this is 2016 data there have been more than 10100 publications 960 patents there are so many analogs known so many curcumin varieties are known but curcumin is not an approved allopathic drug for any ailment next one please so why you you examine this as the, uh, you know as a natural product experts we need to know it can cure almost any disease that is the claim it acts on every molecular site investigated its bioavailability is poor of course it is not patent now that's why i found you know this is something you know very peculiar a molecule which has such versatile action is is you know there are issues with this molecule why next one please so i took it up very seriously and one of the reviews really put a lot of dampener for whole uh, you know 10500 publications i very very many groups in this review this came in a, a prestigious journal journal of medical medicinal chemistry and simply said curcumin is a feel good factor it doesn't do anything it's just a feel good factor it's a you know panacea is a interference compound many assays are not valid etc etc next one please so i immediately wrote a rejoinder actually i said the stand up medicinal chemistry is what classically you have to do pkpd it should be there in the, the blood you should have a half life measurable uh, but curcumin is hardly detectable in plasma metabolizes very fast and has a very short half life how can it be drug next one so and in this review they not only say curcumin they have included the nine other natural molecules which many indian groups are interested you know gensinocytes uh, genistein quercetin epigenin uh, nordihydrobiuretic acid resveratrol camphorel fisetin all these molecules they said they are all feel good factors next one 
So I wrote a rejoinder. Fortunately, it was accepted within 24 hours. You know, general medicine chemistry. I said, curcumin acts in an entirely different way. It is not like you know a direct killing effect or something like that. It it is it, you may not be able to have PKPD. You may not be able to measure its half life and so on. I simply wrote circulatory levels of curcumin in plasma do not seem to be relevant in the case of curcumin, which appears to act through mechanisms beyond the well-accepted tenets of medicinal chemistry. So I said, you cautionary approach is needed, but don't throw the baby with bath water. Next one, please. So there has been a lot of interaction. So many groups are very excited about what I wrote. So they keep on sending me emails. Curcumin, you know, it's a diferyl oil, methane, you know, the structure. Next one, please. And uh, there are, it has very active groups. It's a very unstable molecule. It can react with nucleic acids, metal ions, you know, uh, ROAs. It, it can become ferulic acid, vanillin. The most important thing is in vivo, it gets converted to glucuronide very fast. Glucuronide very fast. We have our own data. Next one, please. And so many derivatives of curcumin are known. You know, dihydrocurcumin, curcumin, glucuronide. I will not get into it for lack of time. Many derivatives of curcumin are known. Next one, please. So, what we have going to, I will want to present very quickly. Curcumin, we have tested nanocurcumin also as an adjunct therapy to treat simple and severe malaria. I wanted to take one disease all the way to drug controller, drug efficacy, not by other route. By the, by the regular drug controller general approval route, do a clinical trial and prove it in patients and publish it you know, in a very international journals so that people accept it. Next one, please. Now, quickly, uh, malaria is, you know, is because, as we all know, mosquitoes inject sporozoids, which get into the liver, and from the liver, you have several hours with merozoids, and it infects the red blood cells, and this is where the asexual cycle ensues. The red cell will lice, and this is the you know, chill and fever you get. But in this process, it also generates a few gametocytes, which gets back into the mosquito. And then it has the sexual cycle there, where again sporozoites are generated. Ucanates become oocysts, oocysts finally become sporozoites. Therefore, this is the cycle. And simple malaria is where you get in red blood cells infected, lysing, which can be treated with drugs. But you can also have situations where you have severe malaria. You know, the, the parasite uh, gets into the brain, for example, and you, uh, RBC. Infected RBC gets into the brain and therefore you can get highly inflammatory responses, what we call the cytokine storm, as you hear, as you hear in uh, COVID. And uh, you can get organ failure, of which uh, cerebral malaria is most important, because the mortality in cerebral malaria is pretty high. Similarly, it can also block the endothelium. Placenta can be affected. Therefore, pregnant mothers are seriously affected with malaria. Next one, please. This is the most important experiment which put us to, uh, because I have done culture studies with the falciparum and all that, and it, you know, you get five to 10 micromolar IC50. But I thought I should go in vivo and really see, does it work? This is where uh, there are two situations where I want to provide data to you. One is recrudescence of the malaria parasite. The other one is cerebral malaria. Recrudescence of malaria parasite happens in a certain in a section of patients. Even when they are treated with artemisinin, artemisinin derivative, you will see a percentage of them will come back after a few weeks. This is because of very many reasons. And one of the reasons is a recrudescence. The parasite comes back. And what we did, we created an animal model for that. If you infect the uh, mouse model, Swiss mice, for example, you will have parasites growing. And the animals will all die uh, in uh, seven to eight, 10 days. I hope you can see the curve here. And if you give artemisinin in a full dose, the parasite is completely clear. What we do, we give a suboptimal dose. 
if you give a suboptimal dose depend, depending on concentration the the parasite the animals will die later for example i to save time only one concentration instead of 1.5 mg single dose if i give half of it 750 microgram you find the animals will die after 20 days around 34 days 25 to 30 days they will die instead of dying between 7 and 8 days so what we did we took that concentration gave a single dose of rt ether and you will see the parasite will clear but 21 days if you have the parasite comes back by 28 days loaded and the animals all die in 34 days i have shown it in the curve what most exciting thing was if along with the single dose of rt ether by give three oral doses of curcumin three oral doses of native curcumin you see no parasite comes back after after 28 days i am telling you the data i'm 21 days i'm giving you data no parasite comes back and all the animals are protected 100% so next one please so this we have filed a, we got a patent us patent and indian patent story i will tell you at the end and you have this is data for about 4 years uh, just to see so many experiments we did to make sure for example if you take control animals infected 94 animals for example 3% only will survive if you give rt ether alone ae 192 animals only 3.6% will survive after uh, few after the three months this is just a statistics if you have given rt medicine in rt ether plus curcumin this is what we call the ac treated 210 animals 95% survive that's why it is not data from one experiment this is data from maybe 20 experiment each experiment has six elements so we have pulled all the data for four years and presented it so at least 95% of the animals are protected if you give curcumin as a combination there next one please so we wanted to look at the mechanisms uh, one of the important thing in malaria is splenomegaly the spleen weight will increase enormously and we have looked at cytokines because there is cytokine storm inflammatory cytokines will increase and this is what and we have looked at toll receptors also i give you the data next and igg next one please <clears throat> this is the uh, recrudescent experiment for example you know when you infected animal five day infected animal you see the spleen weight from 80 mg in the mouse goes up to something like 600 mg then if you give a single dose of suboptimal dose of rt ether you will see the spleen weight coming down for about 14 days when you have the recrudescence starting this is the suboptimal dose and you have the spleen weight going up huge almost it comes 1 gram actually but if you have given three oral doses of curcumin in the beginning remember the spleen weight is here it's coming closer to the normal complete reversal of the situation and here we have all the brain messenger rna we have estimated all that uh, lot of data i will only give you two ae and ac ae is rt ether alone ac is the combination you see tlr2 is induced but not the other tlrs and if several igg mrnas are induced interestingly inflammatory cytokine is inhibited interferon gamma is inhibited ir12 is inhibited but anti inflammatory cytokines are induced il10 increases you can clearly see il10 is a marker for for anti inflammatory so our hypothesis has been it inhibits inflammatory response promotes anti inflammatory response next one please and uh, this is not just brain mrna is also reflected in the serum what you see in the left hand side you can clearly see the interferon gamma and il2 il12 uh, you can clearly see the inhibition by um, curcumin but if you come to il10 it is a you know, reverse of this you can clearly see a huge increase with il10 and uh, uh, this is where uh, ae alone this is a combination so again the inhibition of inflammatory cytokine and the promotion of anti inflammatory cytokine is reflected in the serum also 
It is not just messenger RNA in the brain. Next one, please. Now, if this is true, if you need IL-10, if you need uh, TLR-2 for AC to work, we, we had access to knockout animals. If you have a yeah, TLR-2 TLR knockout animal, because I told you, I showed you that I, TLR-2 is induced in the combination. So here is where you see, if you have a TLR-2 knockout animal, the combination does not work. You can see all the animals die around 13, 14 days. If you inject IL-10, there is a little bit of promotion. Here on the right-hand side, you can again see if you have IL-10 knockout animal, all the animals die around 15, 16 days compared to 13 days or so. Basically, if you have IL-10 knockout, if you have TLR-2 knockout, the combination does not work, which means this combination works through TLR2 and IL10. This is our hypothesis. Next one, please. And uh, interestingly, you will see so many IgG subclasses are in use in the SIRA. This is not only TH1, both TH1 and TH2 subclasses are all in use. I hope you can see uh, which is the top curve, which you see is all combination therapy, AC. Next one, please. Now, this is a very interesting data. You know, if we look at antibodies, or took, out the, took the anti sera from these animals. For example, uh, this is uninfected, the first one. The second one is infected. Where you take the sera, you run the parasite protein on a, on a, on a gel, and then probe it with the anti sera. I'm repeating. You take the parasite protein, that means you separate the parasite proteins on the gel, and then probe it with anti -sera. This is the infected. But then you see, this is AE. The third one is anti-ether. RT-ether where there is a recrudescence and the animals all die. But if you have taken it from the combination, you see how many bands are lighting up. That means so many anti-parasite antibodies are there in the serum, in the combination therapy. Only. And you can see it after 180, 75 days, you can see it after 180 days if we challenge. Next one, please. Therefore, uh, I will not get into the short-term action. I will only come to the long-term action of curcumin. In the long term, we believe the combination therapy activates TLR2, IL-10, IgG subclasses, and prevention of recrudescence. This is the mechanism. It is totally an immune mechanism and not direct killing of the parasite. That is what I wrote to that journal. And that the basis for that was this. Next one, please. I quickly move on to the uh, cerebral malaria. Uh, you know, experimental cerebral malaria, we can create malaria, cerebral malaria in the mouse model. If you have C C57 black, and if you have uh, parasite P. bergii, um, Anka string. Next one, please. We have created that uh, um, cerebral malaria, which will show in about 10 to 12 days. It will typically show cerebral malaria symptoms, paralysis, convulsion, etc., in the animal model. Here, we have compared two preparations of curcumin. One is native curcumin, another is nano curcumin. Nano curcumin was prepared at National Institute of Immunology by, by Dr. Amulya Panda and gave, given to us. But the most important point I want you to remember, we give five milligram of native curcumin, three oral doses, five milligram. We also give five milligram of PLGA nano curcumin, polylactate glycolide. This is approved uh, material for the human, but it only contains 350 microgram of curcumin. That means the loading per milligram of PLGA is only 65 microgram of curcumin. So if I give 5 milligram, I'm giving only 350 microgram of curcumin. So I'm comparing 5 milligram of uh, native curcumin with uh, 350 microgram of uh, nano curcumin. 64, 16 fold less. Please remember that. Next one, please. Here you can clearly see in the cerebral malaria model, the animals will show cerebral malaria symptoms. I told you around 8 to 10 days and you will all die. But if you have, I, I'm not talking about RT ether here, just curcumin alone. If I give native curcumin 5 milligram, three oral doses, 
you can see the animals will die only here that means delay of 10 to 12 days but they die of anemia and not by cerebral they don't do not show cerebral malaria symptoms but parasite grows you can clearly see curcumin does not inhibit parasite growth therefore uh, animals die uh, by parasite accumulation and you get similar results whether i give nano curcumin 16 fold less or uh, native curcumin this is the important thing this slide next this slide next slide please and we have measured all uh, inflammatory cytokine mrnas ccl3 you know these are chemokines chemokine receptors granzyme interferon gamma you can clearly see both of them inhibit i hope you can see the three bars all of them decreasing next one please is also reflected in serum cytokines next one Uh, you can clearly see interferon gamma decreasing. Uh, there are two data points here. Interestingly, same like a recrudescence. You can clearly see IL-10 increases. IL-10 shows a reverse pattern when you give the combination therapy. That means the uh, inflammatory cytokine is blocked. Anti-inflammatory cytokine is promoted. This is what is happening. And this mechanism of inhibition of NF kappa B by in the brain spleen. has been shown long back uh, it's not our first find but we have also found this in this case but this was shown much earlier long back next one please <clears throat> then we have also done uh, fax analysis of t cell migration in the brain this is the major cause of uh, cerebral malaria and uh, clearly you can see on the right hand side both uh, nano curcumin and curcumin are able to inhibit the migration into the brain next one please next one sequestration you know the one of the next one the most important uh, question that has been raised is is the mouse model representative of the human cerebral malaria because there has been this question of detecting infected rbc in the brain uh, in the malaria person but more uh, recent years we have much more sensitive method we have the luciferase expressing parasite that means when you inject this parasite wherever this parasite is there luciferase will be there and if you give luciferin into the animal inject luciferin into the animal within 10 minutes it will be converted into a bioluminescent compound so if it is in the for example this left hand side gives you the scale if it is blue low parasite if it is loaded with parasite it will be red so when i give this this luciferin containing a luciferase expressing parasite you can clearly see in the control animal all the brain samples show the red signal i hope you can see that curcumin one animal showed two animals did not show but in nano curcumin none of the animals showed uh, the signal indicating the efficacy of nano curcumin we also plotted it in the graph next slide please uh, you can also take the tissue and clearly see Uh, is incredible uh, you can see the uh, control animal but no bioluminescence and in the nano curcumin treated animal no bioluminescence absolutely in the curcumin there is a blue color which means there is a low amount of parasite in there and these two are both controls where to show that in the uh, plg alone uh, as a vehicle and in this case the uh, infected animal you can see the infected rbc in the brain in clearly indicating curcumin is effective but nano curcumin is far more effective you can also measure the blood brain barrier blood brain barrier how do you measure you inject evans blue if the blood brain barrier is broken the brain stains blue this is what is happening in cerebral malaria uninfected will not show a blue color look at curcumin look at nano plg curcumin very clearly you no know, the blue color is not there indicating that the the, the blood brain barrier which is affected in, uh, in in cerebral malaria it is counteracted by curcumin next one please and this is same thing you know which i showed you but individually uh, again i extracted the data and quantifying here how much of parasite is in the brain next one please next i think these are all Uh, situations what i want to without getting into great detail i told you animals die eventually 
in the cerebral malaria when you give curcumin after a delay of 10 days although they don't show cerebral malaria the the parasite grows and animals die of anemia so to prevent that we started giving combination so if you give you artemisinin in derivative plus curcumin as a combination what happens and before all the data i showed you is before the onset of the symptom curcumin was given now if the onset is actually there in the human that is the situation you have to have a drug which works after the onset of the disease so these are all various combinations i will instead of next one there is only one graph which i want to want to highlight next one we have studied various combination next one and next one one more yes see just concentrate on this slide we wanted to see if you give a suboptimal dose of rt ether what happens we chose a concentration of rt ether where 50% of the animals will die this is a kaplan meier plot actually so if you give rt ether uh, this dose to these animals showing cerebral malaria they will all die 50% of the animals die this is what you can see but if you are given curcumin none of the animals will die similarly you won't see any parasite can you see on the right side thus showing a combination of curcumin and rt ether will completely cure cerebral malaria after the onset of the symptom all other graphs you know trying various combinations to produce because if you give a full dose of rt ether it will clear the parasite in the animal and it will not show anything therefore we have to work out a concentration where 50% of the animals die and then show that curcumin works there next one please now this actually gives you a lot of papers suffer from the point that they don't measure curcumin in the blood this is the criticism you know that is where and this is the most important point we need to recognize when i give 5 mg of curcumin i only detect 2 to 4 5 nanogram of curcumin in the brain this is the problem whether i give uh, curcumin on the right side i have compared it with plg curcumin in in plasma we have measured in the brain we have measured an interesting feature of plg curcumin on the right side you can see the plasma curcumin appears little later but then it goes four to five fold more than native curcumin so nano curcumin for some reason looks like uh, slowly uh, absorption is slower but the concentration eventually is built up four to five fold higher than native curcumin but remember if i am giving 5 mg detecting 5 nanogram in blood that is and this is all and most one of the important thing is it is not as if curcumin is not absorbed it is absorbed but it extensively converted into glucuronide within 45 minutes you can see 200 to 300 nanogram per ml of uh, glucuronide that means very fast it is converted of course here it is less because the nano curcumin dose itself is 16 fold less i told you that's why you only see 40 to 50 nanogram but the fact remains curcumin gets converted into glucuronide not that it is not by absorbed it is absorbed but it is metabolized extensively so the the point the crux of this point is when i give nano curcumin 16 fold less concentration of nano curcumin i can get four to five fold higher concentration of curcumin in the brain that is the point i want to establish here and next one you see this is where the criticism okay let me conclude when you can give the conclusion next one then i will go to the next one so this is the mechanism by which the disease is produced cerebral malaria in human also and of cup of phosphorylation all inflammatory parameters go go up blood brain barrier is broken parasite uh, so infected rbc gets into the brain and you get cerebral malaria and the animals die if i give curcumin alone inflammatory response is completely prevented but the parasite grows so the animals die of anemia little later with a delay but if i give a combination of curcumin and rt ether both parameters are taken care of and the animals all the animals are alive 
therefore you know we believe curcumin will be a useful adjunct so far as cerebral malaria is concerned where the mortality is high where they do not have a drug available to prevent that next one please next we have published all these results so this is you know this is the criticism most of the studies hundreds and thousands of studies do curcumin with cell 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 line when you add in cell line culture you get something like 10 to 50 micromolar concentration in in vivo and then say as i said in the beginning every parameter is inhibited but in vivo hardly you get 10 to 40 nano nanomolar thousand fold less concentration of curcumin you see and that too for a short period therefore many of the inhibitory mechanisms proposed cannot hold good so they review then they criticize this is correct but it does work it does work by an entirely different mechanism by immune memory we haven't done any memory experiment but we know i i showed you the antibody data all the igg subclasses increasing after one month data analysis those are obviously it has to be a memory involvement and that has to be done in great detail and i do not want to do that any more in animal model we are waiting for i'll come back come to it in i will just take uh, chairman sir just 5 minutes i will take and finish my talk one of the criticism is whether curcumin uh, you know i buy curcumin from sigma which is 70, 75 to 80% curcumin rest is uh, dimethoxy curcumin bis dimethoxy curcumin and criticism is raised you may be a contaminant so we repeated all the experiments with the 99% pure curcumin this is provided by dr pushpa kumari from av thomas natural products alwa and we could reproduce all the results i am not presenting the data we repeated all the experiments with pure curcumin alone and we can get the same results here next one please so uh, of course in pnas another group published saying that you know curcumin binds with uh, Uh, tyrosine regulated kinase and they crystallize this complex and then show this may be the most cancer model probably triple negative breast cancer and multiple myeloma can be because proteasome is what is inhibited by curcumin this came in pnas in 2018 next it's not our paper next one please so uh, it is not a direct killing effect on the pathogen therefore artemisinin works in entirely different mechanism we know how it kills the parasite multiple mechanism but it directly kills the parasite but curcumin does not have a direct killing effect it demonstrates it pro promotes immune memory it promotes immunity complete immunity next one please antibodies you have seen on the all antibodies is a unique mechanism of action so i believe it's not only in 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 malaria we are only using it a model i'm sure it should be working the same way in cancer because you will see hundreds of papers on cancer with curcumin does it's not worth doing curcumin alone you should combine it with anti cancer drug and then see many times you know can resistance to the cancer drug toxicity to the cancer drug i am sure can be prevented by curcumin and more so by nano curcumin next one please how to increase bioavailability of curcumin next one there are so many groups who have now come up with so many complexes bali we have used plga because it is approved for the human phospholipid complex cyclodextrin complex liposome complex co crystals so many complexes have been worked by many other groups all over the globe next one please so best forward is you know we have to not worry about you know the classical pkpd you can't get pkpd for this kind of molecule and i am sure many natural molecules work this way uh, you know you don't build a huge concentration half life may not be high but they are all work by promoting host immune memory and this has been proposed it's not i am not saying it for the first time only thing is i am trying to prove it clearly in a malaria model next one please and we have now gone into clinical trial we did the preclinical trial we done phase one trial and we have taken these biocurcumax from arjuna extract because they have shown in the human 
that their preparation of biocarbon max is six to seven fold up absorption is more. That's why we have taken that biocarbon max from Arjuna extracts. Next one, please. And uh, you know, it's also internationally you see at least a couple of clinical trials in the US where they have used biocarbon max. High fluorouracil is one, and the other one is uh, you know. Uh, Efficacy of curcumin saffron combination in a controlled study. This, is, uh, this paper came in Jane Affective Disorder, the result of a clinical trial. Next one, please. More recently, another paper came from BCG vaccine efficacy, now modulating host immune response by curcumin nanoparticle. This, you know, this paper was published in Infection and Immunity, not my group. Another group in JNU. Next one, please. So we have battled with the drug controller general of India for a decade uh, because they had this problem. Artemisinin, you know, there is a chemical step there. Artemisinin is converted to RT. Therefore, it is treated as a drug. Curcumin is treated as a natural extract. So they said you can't combine the two. Till three years ago, where they formed a separate group phytopharmaceutical group. Therefore, now all extracts, if you have properly characterized all the drug-like properties are all validated, you can go ahead and use it. And we have used a National Institute of Malaria Research will be doing this trial that is artisanate curcumin combination. Simple malaria, he said, prove safety first in, in patients before you go to cerebral malaria. And he was very keen. And uh, 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 Ispat Hospital in Odisha, and Nyanemar as a hospital in Chhattisgarh. And of course, we are, you know, we can't do the trial. I'm not an MD. And Ipka in Mumbai. And this is the, say, they say anti malarial, they are a big uh, company to selling anti malarial compounds. And they are extremely interested in this uh, combination. So I see right at the end of the tunnel. Next one. So we are. Uh, but unfortunately for me, after 10 years of waiting, now both these hospitals have become COVID hospitals. And they say, once the COVID the situation is cleared, they will do the malaria trial. Nothing else is happening. So wonder drug is still waiting. So next one, I just want to co close by saying the problem I had with filing a patent in India. Uh, well, while I got a patent from US for this combination, the Indian Patent Office referred it to National Biodiversity Authority, saying turmeric is an endangered species. And, you know, maybe of the 170 species, maybe one or two are endangered, I do not know. And we had a huge problem. And, they, you know, we, they, my attorney have advised, you should withdraw the patent from your US patent because violation of NBA norm can give you jail. I am only 83. I said, the only thing I'm waiting for, you know, a 10 lakh fund. So this is something, you know, uh, we argue turmeric, you know, India is a major exporter of turmeric. India is a major exporter of curcumin. How can it be, you know, finally, government ordered that all pending cases should be cleared by National Biodiversity Authority by December 2019. And so <laughs> things was are also clear. Therefore, you know, I have no problem anymore. But I said I don't want any more patent. I'm not waiting for Indian patent. I don't want Indian patent. I don't want the US patent as well. You know, what is the point in patenting curcumin? Uh, hopefully, my only plea is that curcumin acts by an entirely different mechanism. It is not by the medicinal chemists what they want, PKPD, half-life. It's not by that mechanism. It is activating immune cells in the body very early in the game and the memory loss, I don't know, it may vary from disease to disease, but this is something which we need to work along with other drugs, whether it's the cancer. I really think cancer people, you know, I'm not cancer biologist, I work with malaria. Therefore, a lot of cancers probably will be benefited by using nanocurcumin as a supplemental drug. Thank you. Next slide, I think I'm done. Thank you. Thank you so much.